One of the hats that I wear at the city is teaching building science to our partner tradesmen. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we came on site to learn how to do blower door testing and how to use that uh, blower door as a diagnostic tool to find out where air leaks and, and how efficient a house can be. So we're actually setting up the blower door here now to do an infiltration test to measure the amount of air that's leaking in and out of the house. So what we do is depressurize the house to 50 pascal, and then we can actually measure the, the amount of air that goes through that fan, and then we can assume that that amount of air is leaking through uh, the walls and the ceiling and, and the floor. Turn that off and then turn it back on again just to reset everything. All right. Under 200. And a .36 at 50. <laughs> and the code is point or three, three at 50. Even, yeah. So we're way exceeding the code. Mm -hmm. That's um, impressive. I'm kind of curious now, the door that they were going in and out, let's go ahead and open that entire door okay. and try to run another test. All right. Go in and out. Maybe 3,500, so it's still going to be less than, I bet, 30, or right at or less than 30% total leakage. Okay, so you can live it. in this house with one whole door open. And still be better than any other house in the city. Right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> One of the other things they're doing here today is they're installing a state-of-the-art ventilation system because you can get a house so tight that uh, it's not uh, good for the house or good for humans in it. So it's a way of building the house tight and then ventilate it right. This is not the norm. We hope that someday it gets to the norm. But you can do it in a cost-effective way. This is above and beyond, very energy efficient uh, on top of the assets of the house and the construction and the insulation. I follow that through to the high efficiency heat and cooling systems and then the, uh, the solar panels on top of it. It should be close to zero, net zero if not beyond.